Hello everybody, my name is Landon with Icepire Gaming and welcome to another EU4 video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play the Easter Egg Nations of Jan Mayan and the Synthetics in both Normal and Iron Man mode. Additionally, I'll be showing you guys a couple of exploits. The first is an exploit that gives the Mayan Nations Dinosaur Cavalry and UFO support in the form of a bonus to 50% Cavalry Combat Ability and 33% Land Fire Damage until the end of the game. The second exploit can be combined with the first and gives every nation in the game a 25% reduced Technology Cost modifier. And lastly, I'll attempt to show you guys an exploit that gives the Papal State a permanent 10% bonus to Discipline. The first Easter Egg Nation we'll talk about is Jan Mayan. Jan Mayan, if you don't know, is actually a nation that is too far north of the EU4 map mode. It is a small island up in this region right up here, but it was not included in the map, so the devs decided to add it into the game as an Easter Egg Nation. So Jan Mayan's traditions, ideas, and ambition are as follows. A plus one to land leader shock, minus 15% core cost reduction, plus one yearly prestige, plus 20% infantry combat ability, plus one attrition for enemies, minus 15% naval attrition, plus two max promoted cultures, plus 30% improved relations, minus 10 development cost, and minus five land maintenance modifier. This coupled with their insane modifiers that they get uh, makes them pretty strong. Jan Mayan's ideas are pretty strong, but the modifiers they get are even stronger. In their modifiers, they get a bonus plus 25% to discipline, a plus 100% to manpower and sailor recovery speed, a plus 600 flat tax income increase, a plus 100 and plus 100 land and naval force limit modifier, and a bonus 100,000 and 10,000 sailor modifier, which as you see here is incorrect. You actually get a 100,000 sailors and 1 million manpower. They also get a minus 75% core cost reduction on top of their bonus 15% from their traditions. That is a 90% core cost reduction in 1444, as well as a minus 10 national unrest and minus 50% land attrition. Their final modifier is a minus one yearly corruption. Unfortunately, Jamayan also gets a minus 1,000 decrease to relations to every other nation, which means they can have no allies. Additionally, Jamayan also gets the Lucky Nation modifier, regardless of if the nation is under the control of a player. Typically, the nations under control of a player do not get the Lucky Nations modifier, which include bonuses to manpower, morale, and other such modifiers that make the game experience a lot more interesting for the player, but Jamayan ignores that and makes the player absolutely powerful. They also spawn in with a bonus 75,000 troops. So as you can see here, I have 80,000 80, troops which are spawned in as you load in as Jamayan. Now let's talk about the synthetics. So the synthetics are a reference to one of Paradox Interactive's other games, Solaris. They have some pretty strong ideas as well as some missions that are added into the game that make them really, really strong, as well as some other nations pretty strong if you exploit them. So for their ideas, in their traditions they have a minus 85% regiment cost at the drawback of a plus 50% fire damage received. In their first idea they have logic engines, minus 25% technology cost, a 20% increase to morale of armies, minus 25% shock damage received, plus 25% land force limit modifier, and minus 25% recruitment time, a minus 20% aggressive expansion impact, a plus 20% national tax modifier, a plus 1 diplo reputation, and a plus 15% production efficiency. These are some pretty insane ideas for any nation in EU4, but what makes them even more broken is their events. So there are two main events with the synthetics that I'll cover in this video. The first one is their innate event that happens when they occupy a province. The event follows to the synthesis happens, and the province immediately returns to a three base development, and the synthetics get a permanent full core on it. So I'll show you what that looks like. And we get a full core on this province. We go over to the diplomatic map mode, and we'll see that we have a full core on this province. Unfortunately, though, Normandy has now returned to three developments. This can be pretty useful, considering that the synthetics get a huge reduction to their regiment cost creation. They can just ramp out a whole bunch of units and carpet siege down an entire enemy nation to the point where only the forts are left, and if they do take a hit on in battle, they might lose, but just because they're able to take land away from their enemy, it just makes them really, really, really strong. Unfortunately, though, because you can't occupy a province, it is hard to win wars with a conquest Casus Belli. There is one other component to this event. If Roma falls to the synthetics, the Papal State gains the last stand of the Swiss Guard 
modifier for the rest of the campaign, giving them a plus 10% bonus to discipline. This can be exploited, which we will be doing later. And for Mayan nations, the Mayan countries in the world get plus 50% cavalry combat ability and a plus 33% land fire damage once they discover the synthetics. Alright, now we're loaded into a normal game save, so we can spawn in either the synthetics or Jean Mayan. So let's bring up the console command box by pressing the tilde key, and we'll type in debug underscore mode. That'll bring up the uh, pointer information box here. We can see that France's country tag is FRA, Aragon's is ARA. To spawn in the synthetics, you're going to need, or Gen Mayan, you're going to need this box enabled to see where you're going to spawn them. So we can type in to spawn the synthetics, synthetic dawn space and then a country tag so in this case we're going to be swanning them into france they have an fra and we can see the synthetics have landed in france to spawn in gen mayan you can hover over a province i'll pick constantinople here you can say bear has landed space and then a province id and it will pick two provinces around this province to also give to gen mayan so it chose these two provinces sometimes it'll choose uh this province over here and you can see that the bear has landed in these three provinces. From here, you can go ahead and hit type in tag, either JMN or SYN to tag into each respective nation and it can play as a normal game save right from here. But we will also be using this normal game save file to do the exploits that allow you to play as these synthetic nations in Iron Man mode. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, the first step to playing one of these nations in Iron Man or doing the exploits that we'll be covering at the end of the video, you can press escape and make sure to save your game. Save it as anything you'd like. We'll overwrite this save here and we'll go back to the menu. Now that we're back in the menu, we can go and click on to our normal game save and start the exploit. This exploit works very similarly to other exploits involving the custom nation. If you do not have the custom nation DLC, you won't be able to perform this exploit. So make sure you have that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating custom nation on top of our nations. So for Gen Mayan, we'll create the custom nation over the three provinces that we have given them and we'll hit done. Next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over to an Iron Man save file in the 1444 start date. Click on any Iron Man save file. It will bring up this window saying, do you want to delete your custom nation? You're going to hit cancel. Then you can see that Gen Mayan is no longer over the Ottoman Empire. And we can go and create a new custom nation. It'll give you this D00 code. Hit add, click it uncolonized province and delete it. Now we can see that Jen Mayan has popped up. We can go ahead and click on them, hit play and hit Iron Man mode and we should be in. Now that we're in the game, we do see however that Jen Mayan does not start with their bonus 75,000 troops as well as all of the modifiers that they get. Unfortunately, for this exploit, you can play as Jan Mayan in Iron Man mode. They will not get the Lucky Nations modifier, and they will not get the bonus modifiers that give them the 90% core cost reduction and all of those other great things. However, if you do want to play a roleplay campaign and take advantage of some of the other great things that the Jan Mayanese have in their ideas, like the 20% bonus to infantry combat ability, you can go ahead and play them as well. The other downside is Jan Mayan, since they are not coded into the game at the start, they have zero cores to start. We'll go here to the diplomatic map mode and show you that they have no cores. What you can do then is give yourself a smaller amount of land to reduce the amount of admin you'll need to spend at the beginning of the game, but it is doable regardless. So you can play as the Gen Mayanese, but there are no significant advantages, sadly. On the other hand, the synthetics are pretty, pretty comparable to the normal game synthetics. So we'll go ahead and tag into them and play them in Iron Man mode. All right, now that we're back in the menu, go ahead and click on the normal game save file we created earlier. Wherever you put the synthetics or wherever you've given them land, just give yourself the amount of provinces that you would like to start the game with. Since Jan Mayan starts with no cores, synthetics also will start with no cores. So we'll give ourselves only a couple provinces here and we'll hit done. We'll do the same thing we just did and I'll speed it up and we'll tag in. All right, now that we've just done what we did for Jan Mayan with the custom nations and the exploits that we did there, we can see that also there are no cores for our synthetics. Fortunately, however, they still do get the missions that allow them to take a province once they occupy it. So you'll be able to, once you core up your homeland and get enough of an economy going, you can start picking apart neighbors that are weak by occupying their provinces and just getting free cores. 
One thing to note about this next exploit is that you will need the Star and Crescent DLC, which you can only get from getting the Digital Extreme Upgrade DLC pack. So if you didn't get the Digital Extreme version of EU4, you could probably buy this pack for about $5 on the Steam store, or you could probably find it at a, for about $1 from a reseller site like Kingwin or G2A. All right, now it's time to show you guys how to get the Dinosaur Cavalry and UFO support modifiers for any Mayan nation. These modifiers give you a bonus 50% to cavalry combat ability, any bonus 33% to land fire damage. And all you need for these modifiers is you need to have discovered the synthetics. So I've gone and I've created the synthetics neighboring the Mayan nations, and I am in an Iron Man mode playing as a Mayan country. To do this, simply just go and give the synthetics a province uh, in this region in your normal game save file, and then do the exploit that we previously did. Now you'll notice if I play, the game, um, we'll go up speed to four. I'm gonna get a couple events. I'm gonna get the synthetics on the horizon and the um, synthetic dawn events. After the synthetic dawn event, we should be able to get the event that gives us the dinosaur cavalry. All you need to do is wait. All right, here's the synthetic dawn event. What are these creatures? What do they want? You'll see here after the synthetic dawn event fires, a Mayan nation has the chance of getting the event, the Temporal Rift. We did not get it. It has some pretty cool art in it. You can see some dinosaur cavalry, but you can read the text here. It basically goes over the same thing. The synthetic invasion was foretold in the prophecies, and we have some instruction on how to deal with them and defend humanity. We will hover over the OK button, and we can see that we get the modifier 50% bonus cavalry combat ability and line fire damage increase 33%. We can go over to our government tab here and we can see that we do have these modifiers and they will last for the end of the game, no expiration date. With this, you're able to get a total of 90% cavalry combat ability if you take the right ideas and policies with those ideas. So if you would really like to, Native Americans and um, tribal countries from North America have a very strong cavalry in the mid game. So you can really, really uh, use that to beat up on the Europeans. Late game, however, the Western cavalry does um, exceed them by a big margin but you should be able to get strong enough by that point with your cavalry bonus because the AI doesn't like to big build cavalry um, to just take over all of the Americas and stomp your opponents handily because these modifiers are just absurd. Alright in this next exploit I'll show you guys how to get the minus 25% tech cost reduction for every country. Unfortunately this exploit is a double-edged sword as you will get a huge reduction to your tech cost so will all of your neighbors and this on top of their already reduced technology cost, depending on the difficulty of the game mode you're playing, might make them uh, at a more advantageous position than you. So be wary of that. All you need to do for this exploit is in an Iron Man or normal game, completely defeat the synthetics. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the synthetic dawn event, and then we're going to declare war on the synthetics, occupy them, beat them, and we'll get this uh, modifier for the rest of the game. I am using a normal game file here to demonstrate this. Here's the synthetic dawn event. And now we have beaten synthetics. So we should be getting an event shortly. All right, so here's the synthetic dusk event. This fires a little while after you beat synthetics. It enables the synthetic remnants triggered modifier. Clicking that button will give you and every other country a bonus to your tech cost reduction. Here we go. Tech cost reduction minus 25% synthetic remnants. So when you do beat the synthetics, make sure that they don't have a ridiculous amount of troops because I don't think Castile, with the limited manpower that they start with, will be able to handle them. But for the purpose of demonstrating this exploit, you can see how this works. If I do go and tag into any other country, you will see that they also get this modifier. So Morocco gets tech cost reduction. If I go all the way over to Indonesia, even these guys will have the modifier. Tag PSA going into the government tab and we have the tech cost reduction. So every country is going to have this modifier. Keep that in mind, but you can stack it with other tech cost reduction modifiers to really give yourself a bit of an advantage. And if you're snowballing hard enough, it won't really matter that everybody else is caught up on tech either. I did mention before that the Papal State gains any event modifier when the synthetics occupy Rome, giving the Papal State a bonus 10% discipline for the rest of the game. I just tested this out myself and had the synthetics occupy Rome from Abruzzi, which I gave them, and did not experience that event. It is possible that I experienced a bug due to the amount of exploits that I've been doing in the normal game and Iron Man save files that I tested this event out in. I did check the common files for Europa Universalis 4 on my computer and did see that this event was still there and it 
might not be coded correctly in the file. There might have been a change. Who knows? Test this out for yourself and let me know if you're able to get that 10% discipline modifier as the papal state. I hope you all enjoyed this exploit guide. Unfortunately, we did not get to showcase the 10% discipline for the papal state. But I hope you got some value out of this nonetheless and you can start destroying your enemies as Jen Mayan and the synthetics. And I want to thank everybody who comments and subscribes to this channel. I've received a lot of support over the past couple of weeks. And I just want to give a big shout out to all you guys with all your suggestions, your tips and tricks on the exploits, how to do different exploits that I've missed, and all the feedback I've gotten on my latest couple of videos. So thanks everybody very much. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see some more EU4 content, you can go in and give a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll have more coming at you really soon. Thanks and I'll see you next time.